Hello and welcome to a whole new week. We hope you had a great holiday. Today we've got your latest and juiciest stories on NX series. Give us a few minutes and let's take you around the world of sports. This is NX Daily Top 5 Sports. Follow us on our social media platforms for the following stories and more. At number 5, Celtic knocked out by a resilient clutch. Celtic have crashed out of the Champions League after conceding four times the CFR clutch of Romania in a frantic game in Glasgow. New Lennon's side were 2-1 behind on aggregate at halftime thanks to Serpian Dex's header, but seemed to have turned the tie around with goals from James Forrest and Odson Edward. Bilal Omrani's penalty gave Clodge the lead on away goals with 16 minutes left, and although Ryan Christie forced the host in front, Omrani and George Tukadin struck to seal Celtic's fate. It means the Scottish champions now drop into the Europa League playoff round, where they'll play Moldovan's Sheriff Thraspol or Swedish side AIK, with the latter having won 2-1 away last week. Celtic reached the last 32 of that competition last season, having been knocked out at the same stage of the Champions League by AEK Athens. It's unfortunate the ball gets stuck under his feet there, but he's showing that excitement, that drive, that enthusiasm which he's always got in him. Christy. McGregor, McGregor plays it towards the chance for Forrest, Forrest, surely a goal, and James Forrest has done it again, he cuts inside, inside of the right foot, and with just over five minutes of the second half gone. He delivers it into the box, it's a chance for Edward, and Celtic have scored, I want to be Edward! Modiano plays it across, Scott Brown just got, well, the referee pointing to is he pointing to the penalty spot? I'm not really sure what is the, the steps forward. And he plays it beyond Scott Bain and Kluge have their second goal on the night. Stay Christie into the box. Edward, there's a chance for the Frenchman. Christie scored! Oh my goodness, what a goal! Edward to Christie! I mentioned that in the home leg last week with Kluge. Um, what a save there to Brickstown Manny and have smashed it into the back of the net. Well, he's pushed it out wide. Scott Bain, Omrani with his. His league, unless Celtic can get the ball back now. Substitute has stayed onside. This would finish it. And he's chipped it into the back of the net. And there. Coming at number four, Serena Williams withdraws with back injury. Serena Williams has withdrawn from the Cincinnati Masters with a recurring back injury just days after pulling out of the Rogers Cup final. 37-year-old Williams was set to face Serena Diaz on the first round on Tuesday. Here's what she had to say and I quote, I am so sad to withdraw as it's truly one of the tournaments I most love to play. End of quote. The American has had to retire or withdraw from all five of her non-Grand Slam events this year. During last week's Rogers Cup final, she was left in tears because of back spasms and retired in the first set to hand the title to Canadian Bianca Adrescu. Her latest withdrawal comes less than two weeks before the start of the US Open, where she will be chasing a record equaling 24 Grand Slam title. Stepping down to number 3, Andy Murray reconsiders decision not to play US Open singles. Andy Murray says he has had some second thoughts about his decision not to play singles at the US Open. Murray lost in straight sets to Richard Gasket in Cincinnati on Monday in first singles match for seven months. He had earlier turned down a wild card for the main draw in New York because he was not convinced his body would be ready for five set matches, but the qualifying matches, which began in New York on Monday, are played over the best of three sets. The score, 32, will now decide, in conjunction with his team, whether to enter next week's ATP singles event in Winston-Salem. Counting down to number 2. George Flanagan sets 8-game ban Bradford hooker George Flanagan has been banned for 8 games for a great F, quote, attack to the testicles in his side's championship loss to Toronto on August 4. At the Independent Tribunal hearing, the 32-year-old was deemed to have made contact with Toronto fullback Hakim Milodi while making a tackle. Flanagan has also been fined £250 and will miss the rest of the season. In addition, the ex hanslet player will miss the opening five games next term. Great F charges carry a suspension tariff of eight games or more, so his ban is the shortest possible punishment for the offense. 
number one. Manchester City, fined, but avoid transfer ban for breaching FIFA rules on under-18 signings. Manchester City have avoided a transfer ban after admitting breaching FIFA rules on signing youth players. The Premier League Championship have been fined 370,000 Swiss francs, which is equivalent to 315,000 pounds. FIFA said City breached Article 19 of its regulations. Quote, International transfers of players are only permitted if the player is over the age of 18. End of quote. City say the breaches, which all occurred before December 2016, were as a result of misinterpretation of the regulations in question. Chelsea were banned from signing players for two transfer windows for a similar rule breach, but the club are appealing to have that overturned. And that's it for today on NX Daily Top 5 Sports. Mojis next time. In the meantime, you can watch this and more stories on our social media platforms on Facebook and Instagram at Nigezi Extreme, Twitter at us at Nigezi TV, or you can visit our website at www.nigezi.tv.